On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chicago Be Like Power 105, Power 1, I was caught lacking in my own home and viciously attacked by my BM after she found a prophylactic in the pocket of my trousers. Skeptical of my denial of ownership, she forced me to call my big homie and prove that that indeed was his condom. Now, even though this was a Hail Mary play, Big Twan still managed to execute a one-handed Randy Moss catch that put me in the clear of the allegations that were placed against me. After that, I go hop in the water and secure a little rendezvous with this little situation via text. My BM ended up deciding to pop out. Now, of course, this was a cold red because she was supposed to be letting me use her car. Ended up being a false alarm. She said her friend was going to pick her up cool i slide on shorty in a love baby mama mobile she pop out we end up engaging in a little dialogue in the whip catching up or whatever ended up going to the pot reminiscing about our early school days reconnecting we we'll wipe the beam end up taking her to jerk 48 to get her something to eat had a ratchet ass cash here but whatever's clever we get the food we eat that shit in the car. Almost got the chance to get my shit knocked down till she called me in a lie. Blue shorty top. She evacuated the vehicle expeditiously. That L hurt the hide. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just slid to the slot after that. My BM in the shower. I noticed her phone was on the desk unlocked. At that point, that's when I asked y'all for y'all help. So the people have spoken and y'all have elected for me to infiltrate her mobile device. Say less. I look at her phone. The last text she got was from somebody named Brooks talking about just let me know, bae. I text back like, hey, boo, trying to check the temperature. He missed me already, huh? Now, my man, it's like, miss you for what? So I had to see about it. I text back, why wouldn't I? He, true, you did look like you enjoyed yourself today. I love it. I, on a scale from one to 10, how much would you say I did? He, 15, LOL. I about damn that choked. Got the hyperventilating and some more shit. I had just discovered I had been lied to and cheated on because she Definitely told me she was going to a day party with her best friend, that of whom was not a male. My mind was racing all over the place. I tried to stand up. What Dirk say, I get to get in that. I fell down to my knees when the laws came. Weak in the knees. SWV activity. Man down. I just laid on the floor and stared at the ceiling, contemplating everything about life that of which I thought I understood. BM eventually get out the shower. She walk in the room. She, what's wrong with you? I get up off the floor looking crazy. You would have thought I rose from the dead or something. She, why is you looking at me like that? Dramatic pause. I, who is Brooks? She, so you went through my phone though? <laughs> That's all she was worried about is me going through her phone. I get to coming out of my jacket because she definitely had me. Crisscross and misconstrued. She, you safeguard the fuck out your phone so I can't go through it. But then you go through mass. It's the audacity for me. Had to just look at her. I, you know what? This not the right shirt for the occasion. Cause you got me fucked up. Lifetime Movie Network told me. I, you told me you was going to a day party, and you out here frolicking around the city with some nigga named Bro up and stuck she bitch the lord is my witness i'm not gonna do this shit with you tonight ah yeah i bitch i'm willing to die for these sins and then i reached for this glass cross she had grabbed off the shelf to try to defend herself with in the midst of tussle and i fall and she run out the room she fly downstairs towards the kitchen 
Meanwhile, I'm behind in lukewarm pursuit, taking slow and easy strides, getting that Terminator. She dash into the kitchen. I, what the fuck is you running for? She, you be doing too fucking much. Would you just stop? I, gee, I'm about to beat the fuck out of you. I don't even know why you even tried to play with me. Nervously, she, okay, can I tell you something? I, they usually give motherfuckers on death row last words. I, what's up, what's up? I had to hear this. She, whole time. Brooks here, decent, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I, I hope it was worth it. I try to grab her in a rage of fury, end up slipping on some water. Water that she put on the floor on purpose to assist her with her getaway. I just got my damp ass up. Return back to my calm serial killer state and followed her upstairs. I get upstairs, the door lock out. Open the fucking door. She, no, I'm not opening up nothing. I, Sarah, open that fucking doji. She, no, I'm not. You need to leave. I, I'm not going nowhere. Is you stupid? She ain't say nothing. I, motherfuckers finna sit here all night. You might as well just open the door. Motherfuckers finna be right here. And then I proceeded to make myself comfortable in front of her door because I want finna move. She, oh, okay, hold tight. And little did I know, she went and grabbed for her phone. Now, like 15 minutes later, I hear, Ah, you called Brooks? So you called Brooks to the crib? I stand up. I, I'm finna beat the. One, nothing else to say for real. It was time to get busy. I go downstairs to open the door. I'm on go. I open the door into my surprise. 12, we got a call about an issue for Sarah. Two fully clad officers step inside. Ah. Also, motherfuckers called 12, huh? That's how you feel? She come down the stairs and post up with her arms folded. Quiet. One of the officers, damn. Ma'am, are you okay? Ah, yeah, right. she decent. Go on, tell them we good so they can be on their way back to the station. She look at me. She, nah, you need to leave. The other officer, you heard us, sir. Time to get up out of here. Ah, right, this my baby mama. Shorty just tweaking right now. I'm not going nowhere. Y'all might as well just mosey along for that grade. The officer, now look, we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice, power tripping. Ah, right, what? Oh, okay. Hey, where your superior at? Call your white shirt. Fuck to me. I'm telling you, I'm not going nowhere. Nowhere, boy. His ass was tweaking the other officer. Oh, so you the to shine. You want it the harder way. Just looked at his ass. I tell BM, see what you done did? Doing too fucking much. She just looked at me and started walking up the steps like I ain't said nothing. I just looked at the cops. Tried to follow her upstairs. One of them get the grab at me. I'm like, man, let me go. Next thing you know, they rush me. We get the tussling. They overpower me. Next thing you know, they scooping me right up out the crib. The next day, after the longest process of time and everything else, I, I bond up out of that motherfucker. I'm looking around for Big Twine because he was supposed to be picking me up. I spot him. He was parked over in the cut. I was so happy to be up out of that place, boy. I wanted to get as far away as quick as possible. I bop in. He, boy, what the fuck you done did to get up in there? SMH and I. I done went through her motherfucking phone. She fucked with some nigga. Boy, I, I bug up, boy. She had me fucked up. Police came tweaking like, made me mad talking about it. He, her ass bogus. She out, she out. I, on my mama. And then I'm steady hitting her line to come pick me up. She won't even answer on my call. When I tell you I'm blue, I ain't got my phone, I ain't got nothing. We gotta slide to the police station so I can pick up my belongings. Man, blessings, I appreciate you for coming to get me cause I don't know what I would've did. I don't remember nobody else's number by high. At that next moment, a little mixed situation, pimp past the car, big twine. Hey, Princess Jasmine, I'm trying to show you a whole new world. She turned around like, what? Wave them off. Man, shorty petite too. I could have flipped in and dipped in some motion. Ah, you a freaky bitch. Can we slide up to the police station so I can retrieve my personal items, bro? Heat, hell yeah, whole time. I gotta go chop it up with the mechanic about my BM car first. 
I bet say less. Big Twine peel off. We pull up to this alley out west under the 290 act. We bop out to see what was up with bro BM Kai. He say fool and them had it for a nice little minute. Motherfuckers need to see what the hold up was. We pimp up to the mechanic. He, hey man, I was just about to call you, man. Lying, big twine, man. Your ass won't finna call nobody. What's up with the car? You done had that motherfucker like three months now. He, come on, man. I sit up and gave you a player price, man. You sitting up here tripping about time metrics and all that, man. Come on so I can tell you what's going on, man. Under the hood. He, hey man, um, yo, serpent belt and dry rod and snap, man. And yo, 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 carburetor ain't cooperating, man. The Mac buddy that's holding the light get to fall asleep. He get the eye again with him. A cocaine custodian, clearly. Big Twine, man, how the f is you out here looking at an engine with a fucking iPhone like, man? Come on, man. Wild as hell. Heat. Man, you ain't that worried about a light source, man. I done told you what's wrong with it, man. You either got the money or you don't, man. Big Twine, man, what money? I already gave your ass a deposit. You ain't did shit, man. Your ass tweaking. The mechanic, man, the deposit was for my services, man. I still need to pause, Vic. Ah, that shit crazy. Some old man walked from the backyard. He pointed at me. He, whose niece is this? Ah, hey, chill on me, old school. Yo ass tweaking. He, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. All I saw was the floral. I saw the floral in, in the hair. And, and, and you know, most of the time, women get good dental plans, and it was the, it was the big ones. I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my numbers. And pimped off. I don't know what was to do that. Big Twan, man, how much for the pies, man? He, uh, hold on, let me ask my assistant, man. He wake him up. Hey, man, how much, how much it gonna cost, man? He, $628.38. Fool, $628.38. Big Twan, six. What's your cash at, man? My BM steady tripping. I'm tired of driving around there, well. Buddy, dollar sign, I'm a fool for the snow. Yeah, with four H's, man. Big Twan, what? And just SMH. He sent it through. Out of nowhere, somebody come out the gangway. Damn, Unc, you fixing up everybody cogs up mines. Where the hell my car at? I been calling your ass all day. Buddy, man, uh, um, I was just finna call you, man. Uh, you know them people booted your car, man. And 24 hours later, they came and picked it up, man. Buddy, on TVL, I'm finna blow this bit down. Got the clutch, man, what? Feet and ass, you hear me? My first got right up out of the belt in the car, belt out. Now we gone, Big Twine. Boy, done got nippy as hell out here. He done threw a hoodie on. Ah, hell yeah. I need to get to the crib so I could change my motherfucking clothes. Let me see your phone so I can hit my baby mama right quick. He give me his phone. I text her. Ah, it's Bartholomew. You at the crib? What the fuck? She. No, but I left some of your stuff on the porch. You could pick up the rest tomorrow. Take care. Acting up. Ah, is you serious? Acting unusual. Ah, shorty ass tweaking. I don't know what she on. He, what she on, bro? Ah, she talking about she left my clothes on the porch. Her ass tweaking. Big Twine, man, she done put you out. You homeless now? I, I don't know what shorty on for real. Let's slide over there right quick. Big Twine, I, right. real nigga activity. He beam me over to the crib. I walk in the gate, walk up the steps, and what I see? A garbage bag and a shoebox. She snapped. She really did that playing crazy i look in the bag boy she didn't bagged up my whole ps5 gaming system got my shit outside in the elements i was blue let my shit not power on later you hear me then she got my all white g phasos just sitting outside the box 10-4 i just picked up my garbage bag grabbed my shoe box and got the fuck on in Jack Funny 313 voice. I went and put my stuff in the back of broke car. Mad as hell, I ain't gonna lie to you. I hop back in. Ah, right, let me see your phone right quick, bro. I had to text her one more time. I had questions. I hit her. I, right, what's to you? She. 
I'm definitely not finna argue with you for real. You can get the rest of your clothes tomorrow. Be safe and stay dangerous. Ah, the fuck is you mad for? You act like you went through my phone and then I got you arrested. Is you cool? She, we just need to go our separate ways for real. I'm done. I don't trust you. And now you know I'm doing me. Take care. And she did not follow that text up with a JK or an LOL. Ah, she on a different type of bullshit, bro. He, she didn't put your shit in a garbage bag and some motion. Ah, I ain't got no words, bro. He, she, you can slide to my crib. You know I got the couch. Ah, yeah, and that motherfucking couch stank. I can't do it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's just slide by my OG crib. I'm probably gonna have to crash there for the night until I figure out what the fuck's going on. He, all right, man. We pull up to my OG crib. I fake knew she was about to tweak with me for real, but I ain't had no other comfortable options. I pimp up the stairs, knock on the door. Shit, I was hoping she was at home for real. Luckily, she was. She come open the door, looking bewildered. Yep, it was time for her to snap. She, garbage bags usually leave about this month. What you doing coming in with one? I put my things down. I, BM put me out, mama. She, put you out. What you mean put you out? Where's my grandbaby? I, she bagged up my clothes, my PS5, and some motion. And she at her mama house whole time. She, so you basically homeless. And where's your damn shoestrings? She ain't even know. Ah, I, I got arrested last night. Just got out today. And nah, what you mean am I homeless? I thought I always had a home here. She always have a home well. When you turned 18, that shit was over with. We had capacity over here. You forget I got my niece living here now? Ah, come on, mama. Where else I'm supposed to go? My cousin come out. Hey, cousin. She walked to the refrigerator to get us something to drink. I turn around. I right, was good, cuz oh, whole time. You gotta find somewhere else to stay. I need to reside here. My mama, you gotta find somewhere else to live. You the uninvited fucking guest got us fucked up. Bugged up. Cuz oh, bye, cousin. And just took her drink and headed to the back. Wish I had a refrigerator to walk away from. My mama, how y'all be saying it? Uh, what you finna be on? trying to kick me out mama please i ain't got nowhere else to go i ain't even gonna be here for long i just gotta figure something out it's a lot going on right now she i right, bartholomew consider this the holiday inn express it's gonna be a quick stay and wash them dishes and take that garbage out i'm going to bed my heart was singing mama you know ah fuck talking about big twine what you finna be on bro you good ah hell yeah I'm just finna chill. Motherfuckers had a rough day for real. He, alright bro, just hit my line, I'm gone. And left. Definitely was a great assistance to a real one. I love. It felt good to be in the house and finally get a chance to sit down and take a load off. I flop onto the couch. I look on the table and I see my mama phone sitting on the charger. Ah, mama, can I use your phone? She, why? What up is your phone? Ah, I, I ain't get a chance to pick it up from the police station. She, whatever Bartholomew. Go on ahead. Ah, what's the passcode? She, I ain't got no nigga. What I need a passcode for? And went back in the room. Touche. I grab her phone off the table and log on to my Instagram. First thing pop up on my timeline is this thick little light skin situation I went to school with. I heart instantly hopping up DMs. Hey stranger, can I see you? Damn. She respond quick as hell. Hey boo, LOL, where you at? Ah, don't play with my spirit like that woman. She, boy, ain't nobody gotta play with you. Pull up on me. Ah, my kind of shop whole time. Scoop me. She, Say less, send me the low, boo, on my way. I ain't expect her to even be coming with such energy. I ain't gonna lie to you. But God know how to turn a rough day into something decent for real. 
and he was definitely doing his big one i had to hop in the water real quick and get myself together before shorty pulled up she schooled me say she was tired of being outside for the day so we slid back to her crib she had a nice little house or whatever too she sat down on the couch in her front room i sit next to her she had this smoke thing. I, damn, you got roaches in that hot box and that's what's up. She, boy, that is a diffuser. Ah, oh, okay, motherfuckers got diffusers through this bitch. Your ass fancy as hell for that guy. She, boy, your ass been stupid since high school. So what you been up to? Ah, shit, getting to it, taking care of my little one one day at a time. Woo, what about you? She, that's what's up. I see you. I ain't even got no kids whole time. I what? How you do that? You Neo out here, motherfuckers dodging bullets. You raw as hell. She boy, I've been on birth control since high school. Dedication, yeah. Ah, real nigga activity. You was about arguing on the phone the whole ride over here. What that was all about? Yo man scratching you. She, that's my ex. He want that old thing back, but I can't go. That shit dead. Ah, you sure? Motherfuckers might want to spend a block. You never know. She, nah, I'm Gucci. Fuck them out. Ah, it be like that sometimes. I just got out of a love. You fed me. Whoa. But I'm decent though. She, ah, okay. You still look the same from high school. You just got long hair now. And grab one of my locks out or whatever. You too. And that motherfucker still back there. I love to see it. Literally. Fuck to that. But nah, I remember I used to want you so bad. I just knew we was gonna be together. She on chief. You was just a sophomore. I was a senior. You wasn't ready for this. You was scared. I what? Yeah, I fuck time out. Look, motherfucker, been ready, yeah me. P. She oh yeah. Plot twist. Took my hand and guided me to the back. Walk me to her bedroom. Candles was lit and some more shit. Look, I ain't know what was going on, but I knew I wasn't finna question God's blessings. She, don't be looking nervous now. Ah, nervous. What I'm nervous for? You ain't on shit. She, yeah, okay. You so cute. And start walking towards this little stripper pole she had in her room and got the wiggle in that little moth. I was enticed. She stepped away from the stripper pole. And I step for across her bed. She, you ready? Ah, ready for what? She, you see the groceries on this table. Don't play stupid. Well, y'all heard, shorty. She definitely getting that. Janae Aiko. Now, I ain't never participated in that before. So I need y'all help. Should I engage in the eating of the groceries? Or should I pass on the patootie? Y'all drop in the comments and let me know what's up. And on the next episode of Black Shot, I'm going to be like Pi 105, Pi 3. We're going to see what's to it. Let me know. Oh, God. I just want my bitch back. Everybody hate. Fuck her friends. All them hoes getting diss tracks. I was only fucking hoes. I was going to get right back. Some sneaky links, a couple midnight snacks Never hit him at the crib Cause I ain't built like that I was only trying to whoop shit Brittany was thick, on the gray She had a waist tuck, never had my line I only 